तो परम सुशोभित करने वाले इंटरनेशनल सोसाइटी ऑफ कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस इस कॉन यूट्यूब आदि के माध्यम से आई आल्सो एक्सटेंड माय वेलकम टू ऑल द लिस्नर्स एंड डिवोटीज सो आर लिस्निंग थ्रू द मीडियम ऑफ यूट्यूब फेसबुक इत्यादि फ्रॉम ऑल द पार्ट्स ऑफ वर्ल्ड एंड आई वुड वेलकम इन पर्टिकुलर द होस्ट फैमिली who has organized this beautiful bhagwat katha the inhabitants of london shri navin bhai ranjan mata ramesh bhai ramesh bhai murli ben australia nivasi and from australia shri arvin bhai indira mata kenya and from kenya nairobi se nairobi Yogesh Bhai and his son and Shobha Mata, Prabhu Das Bhai from Kenya. I heartily welcome you all on the last and concluding day. That is the seventh day of this. I heartily welcome you all, and our humble obeisances at your lotus feet, Radhe Shyam. Today is a highly auspicious day. Today is a great festival. In Bhadramas Shukla Paksh, and today is the fifth day of the lunar calendar. And today is specifically or specially called Rishi Panchami. So today is the day of all the sages and saints, and we all human. Are so much indebted to so many types of loans. Among that, one is about the in debt towards the rishis, and Narad Muni says, "Sarvatmana ya sharanam sharanyam gato mukund pariharsya kartam." जब तक भगवान मुकुंद भगवान श्री कृष्ण की पूर्ण रूप से शेल्टर ऑफ द लॉर्ड बट वी हैवन टेकन द कम्प्लीट शेल्टर वी आर नॉट फुल्ली सुरेंडर टू द लॉर्ड कम्प्लीटली सो जब तक अनलेस we have completely surrendered ourselves to the supreme personality of godhead that is until and unless we are pure exalted devotee of the lord till that point in panch logo ke rin till that point we are indebted to these five people and we all living entities or humans are indebted to these first is we are indebted to the demigods secondly to the rishi muni that is sages and saints then the society then and our ancestors and the second of them this is the verse from shrimad bhagavatam you can see in front of your screen it is the that is our indebtedness to the sages and saints and unless we are indebted we cannot be at peace 
so we should try to get free from the debt of the saints and sages so what have they given if we ask then the bhagavatam that we are listening has been provided by us provided by them to us so by the scriptures and the verses that they have given us through which we can attain the supreme personality of godhead lord shri krishna it was provided only by the sages and saints and they paved the path of righteousness or religious principles that is dharma otherwise we would have been also living like animals but they the saints have been so much merciful and have blessed us so especially that today is rishi panchami on this auspicious day at least we should remember seven sages that is the saptrishi in our present manvantara this is which is the seventh manvantara and to for the welfare of humans in this kalpa these seven sages have been appointed who are termed or called as saptrishi and who have contributed greatly for the welfare of the society so at least we should try to remember them kashyapo atri bharadwajo vishwa mitro ath gautama jamdagni vasishthascha saptete rushaya smritah ye saat rushi kon so who are these saptrishis they are in front of his screen नीचे नाम श्लोक है ऊपर वो ऋषि है आप देख सकते हैं आप लोग सी द वर्स हेयर हैज ऑल द नेम्स एंड गोविंद टीवी वर्क सो हार्ड एंड टू प्रोवाइड ऑल दीज वर्सेस एंड इमेजेस सबसे पहले हैं कश्यप जी तो फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट अमंग द ऋषिस इज कश्यप मुनि जो ब्रह्मा जी के मन से प्रकट हुए हैं who manifested from the heart of lord brahma unka naam hai mariti aur mariti ke putra hue kashyap so the sage who manifested from the heart of brahma sat was mariti and his son was kashyap and he has a huge contribution he helped in populating the earth and that is why he is also considered as a prajapati he had 16 wives diti aditi kadru etc and he filled the whole universe with his children and for your information if people who want to perform karmakand and they ask the brahmana asks what is the what is your gotra then they say that is that they are from kashyap gotra and if you are from vaishnav then you are considered as achyut gotra kashyapo atri so the second muni is atri jo brahma ke putra hue who also is son of brahma and his wife was anasuya and they both did such a nice devotional service towards the lord that brahma vishnu mahesh manifested as their son and they gave birth to a great incarnation of the lord bhagwan datatre 
and his son is also durvasa rishi and his third the third son this third son was so jiskom ke karan who is somnath mahadev jyotirling ki sthapna is the same som because of whom somnath was established in gujarat tisre rishi hai vasishth third is bharadwaj Then Vishwamitra, Gautam, and then Jamdagni. So the third is considered Vashisht and even Bharadwaj as well, who lives in Prayag and who is the fundamental listener of Ramkatha, who serves the sages and saints, and from him. Ramayan or Ram Katha started. The fourth is Vishwamitra, who is the son of Gadi, who was a Shatriya or was from a princely state. And although he was born in a Shatriya clan, but because he performed such great austerity. that he turned into a brahmana he is the same who brought ram ji and lakshman ji to janakpuri and got him married to sita ji vishwamitra fir panchve hai gautam and then fifth is gautam rishi gautam rishi jisko nyay shastra ke pandit kaha jata hai who is considered as the rasayan vigyan pandit aur vibhin Or final authority on religious principles on just of justice, and he he had a daughter whose name was Anjani, who gave later gave birth to Anjani, that is Hanuman ji. So Gautam Muni is the maternal grandfather of Hanuman ji. जमदग्नि ऋषि से ही भगवान परशुराम का प्राकट्य होता है एंड लॉर्ड परशुराम मैनिफेस्टेड फ्रॉम हिम सुंदर ब्राह्मण और यज्ञ करने वाले ही वाज अ ग्रेट सेज हु वाज परफेक्ट इन होमा और यज्ञ सैक्रिफाइसेस एंड द सेवेंथ इज वशिष्ठ हु वाज भगवान श्री रामचंद्र द गुरु है कुल गुरु और द बोनोफाइड स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर ऑफ महाभारत सही राम जी इस क्लैन लेखक श्री वेदव्यास मुनि के वशिष्ठ पर दादा है एंड ही इज द बड़े सुंदर ब्राह्मण ग्रेट ग्रैंड फादर ऑफ व्यास मुनि वशिष्ठ जिनको कह दे कि ये ब्राह्मण तो वो ब्राह्मण बन जाता है इफ वशिष्ठ जी सर्टिफाइज दैट दिस पर्सन इज ब्राह्मण देन ही इज कंसीडर्ड एज अ ब्राह्मण इस प्रकार से सो इन दिस मैनर the seven rishis or sages are celebrated so as today is rishi panchmi and we are referring to them so there are types of rishis so one is sapt rishi then second is category is dev rishi so who are the rishis of the demigods like narad muni is called devrishi then there is another category that is brahma rishi who are situated in brahma or impersonal lord form then the other form is raj rishi who were first king and then gradually they became brahmana by qualification 
अदर कैटेगरी इज तप्त ऋषि दुपरफॉर्म ग्रेट ऑस्टेरिटी देन देर इज योग ऋषि हु परफॉर्म योगा so there are so many types and kinds of rishis so whom shelter we should take ye sare rishi ko hum pranam kare sab so we all should go down to all the rishis but we are interested in prem rishi gurudev jagat guru shil prabhupad and our divine prabhupad He is not Saptrishi, no Brahmrishi, not Rajrishi, not Taprishi, not Ryogrishi, but he is Prem Rishi. His divine grace, Shri Da Prabhu Pad. He loved the Lord. and then he provided the same love to all of us he taught us how to love the lord and if you have a query in your mind although prabhupad is not many available in this world so at this time who is the prem rishi For in our eyes, our Guru Maharaj Radha Govind Goswami Maharaj is the Prem Rishi who lives in Vrindavan, and he remembers the Lord and gives Krishna prema. He has spent so many years in Iskon, and and if we can see. that love for the lord we can see in his eyes who always 24/7 is overwhelmed with the emotion towards the lord who always remembers and contemplates upon him although he is not physically well yet he contemplates on rin on bhagavatam and vrindavan and he never leaves vrindavan he, when he used to preach he used have to leave vrindavan for preaching he will never show his back to vrindavan he had so much respect for towards braj and brajraj lord shri krishna so in present i will consider him as the prem rishi katha ke prarambh mein aneko bhakto ne ंग अनुमोदन बट द ओनली के राधा गोविंद गोस्वामी क्वालिफिकेशन दैट आई हैव इज Shri Radha Govind Maharaj is my bona fide spiritual master and he has given me his shelter he has given sinful people like us his shelter and on this rishi panchmi we remember the sapt rishi and prem rishi shila prabhupad and our humble obeisances at the lotus feet of shri prabhupad and the present prem rishi his holiness shri radha govind goswami maharaj who had made this made us capable so let's celebrate rish panchmi along with that today is the birth day or appearance day of sita thakurani so 550 years back chaitanya mahaprabhu came at that time if you see at the corner there is a person with beard if you see on the extreme left hand side 
so he is advait acharya who is a part incarnation of lord vishnu and his wife was his wife was sita thakurani sita thakurani ka photo govind ji ne yadi rakha ho ha ye hai sita thakurani so this is her image sita thakurani ke vishay mein main aapko batau jagannath puri mein let me tell you something about her in jagannath puri one time chaitanya mahaprabhu was residing with some devotees and he told shrivas ye jo mere nana baithe hai na advait acharya this my grandfather advait acharya you should sing some his glories and chitane bhagwat has described that shrivas started saying that advait acharya is as great as prahlad mara and like सुखदेव गोस्वामी आचार्य की कुछ महिमा बताओ तो श्रीवास ने कहा अद्वैत आचार्य प्रहलाद महाराज जैसे महान है सुखदेव गोस्वामी जैसे महान है चैतन्य महाप्रभु का दिमाग हट गया चैतन्य महाप्रभु गॉट एजिटेटेड एंड ही स्लैप्ड श्रीवास आचार्य ने कहा कि अद्वैत आचार्य से व्हाई आर यू स्लैपिंग हिम एंड बीटिंग हिम प्लीज लीव हिम चैतन्य महाप्रभु से दैट आई एम टेलिंग टू टेल टेल योर ग्लोरी and he is comparing you with prahlad maharaj and shukdev at ye mujhe who and what is advait you should ask me jinhone chaitanya mahaprabhu ko prakat kiya hai he is the one who manifested who made it possible for chaitanya mahaprabhu to manifest that is his glory he is the one because of whom chaitanya mahaprabhu manifested on this material earth and that is his glory and his wife is sita thakurani karne wale advait acharya hue aur us advait acharya ki patni sita thakurani sita thakurani narsingh bhagat ki kanya hai sita thakurani is the daughter of narsi bhagat and there is a past time that he used to take holy dip in the water and bring lotus flowers and offer it to lord ek din wo kamal chunne gaye to kamal and one time when he went to pick the flowers or the lotuses then he found a do- a girl in the lotus flower and she is the other than sita thakurani कभी कर्णपुर पूर्णमासी देवी हुज यूज टू सर्व लॉर्ड श्री कृष्ण गोविंद टीवी हैज सेंट मी अनदर पिक्चर यू कैन सी दैट छवि है सीता ठकुरानी कौन आप देखिए सो हु इज दिस सीता ठकुरानी कृष्ण को शी इन द्वापर लीला कभी-कभी यशोदा मैया कुछ काम में व्यस्त होती थी इफ यशोदा मैया यूज्ड टू बी बिजी विद सम वर्क देन सखी को कहती थी तुम शी ध्यान रखो यूज्ड टू टेल द फ्रेंड का ध्यान रखती टू टेक केयर ऑफ यशोदा कृष्ण and she was purun masi and she always had a thought ye ek janm krishna ki seva karne ke liye kaun hai that on this one birth to serve the lord is not enough i should get another birth so she in the last birth she was the friend of yashoda maya and used to serve lord krishna and in kali yuga in chaitanya leela she became the wife of advait acharya and when chaitanya mahaprabhu was born she used to serve little chaitanya mahaprabhu and today is her birthday aaj inka janmadin hai 
so we should learn two qualities from her first she is a very chaste woman her name is now never even mentioned in chaitanya charitamrita and second she is perfect in cooking she used to make food for chaitanya mahaprabhu and when chaitanya mahaprabhu took sanyas after that also she used to make prasadam for chaitanya mahaprabhu and send it to jagannath puri so today is rishi panchami and sita thakurani's appearance day and we have discussed in little detail so let's proceed towards shabri mata today we have quite a lot to listen so there are quite a few things that we should learn from her character is character and among this there is one thing in particular which the we brahma madhya gaurias follow so there are if you follow six things then your devotional service will increase and what are those things six things निश्चया धैर्या तत्कर्म प्रवर्तना संगत्याग सतो वृत्ते संगत्याग सतो वृत्ते षडभीर भक्ति प्रसीधति छह वस्तु भक्ति में बहुत सिक्स थिंग्स कैन हेल्प इन प्रोग्रेसिंग टू और बिकमिंग मोर फर्म इन अवर डिवोशनल सर्विस भक्ति को प्रोग्रेस कराने वाली है और उन छह में सबसे पहला है एंड द फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट इज उत्साह भक्तों में दैट इज एक्साइटमेंट और जील if we are if we have a zeal then we sh- it will increase so how to get that zeal we can have an entire katha on this verse alone but let's remember that first is zeal and second is nishche that is determination you should have a goal or a target रेशु पाता है परिक्रमा करेगी टेकन अ डिसीजन दैट शी विल सकमुलेट ब्रज को चौरासी एंड शी इज ट्राइंग एंड इट विल हैपन सो और उसके साथ तीसरी वस्तु फर्स्ट इज जील सेकंड इज डिटरमिनेशन देन थर्ड इज धीरता दैट इज पेशेंस इन भक्ति यू कैन नॉट धीरता होनी चाहिए बी रेकलेस यू शुड हैव एयरपोर्ट रेदर इट शुड गो फॉर द टेक ऑफ बट इट हैज टू रन ऑन रन वे फॉर अ वायर so we have to have some patience if we want to directly fly it there could be a mishap or accident so in devotional service we should have patience if we try to be reckless then there can be a fall down or accident and next is tat tat karm so all the activities which support or which progress our devotional service which are mentioned as 64 limbs 
which come under this tattat karma pravartana then the next is sangatyaga we should try to dissociate ourselves from bad association and we should accept good association when we follow these six principles then our devotional service towards the lord will progress with great speed so one of the element in this is dhirta which we can see in the character of shabri mata how much patient patience she has kept she was two three days back she was looking very beautiful she was young but now that it's the seventh day the the factor of also she has become old gomitiv is going so accurate in the seventh day it it seems that she is about to die dheeraj thi but she had patience shabri ki umr bit gayi utsah nahi bita her whole life was spent on waiting yet she was zealous enthusiastic and kept patience and we are listening to the past time of such shabri mata so all this past time of shabri when did it happen right now we are in kali yuga it is the seventh manvantars 28th chaturyug kali yuga और उस अट्ठाईसवे सातवें मनवंतर के अट्ठाईसवे चतुर्युग का कलयुग चल रहा है लेकिन शबरी माता की कथा बट शबरी माता इस पास टाइम इस डिड नॉट हैपेंड ऑन द जैसे कलयुग के पहले द्वापर था द्वापर के पहले त्रेता था डिड नॉट हैपेंड इन दिस त्रेता युगा और द ट्वेंटी एट चतुर्युगा शबरी नहीं आई she was in 24th katha kab ki hai ye bhi samajh lijiye chaturyuga ki katha satve manvantar ke so it is in the 7th manvantar satve manvantar 24th chaturyuga where lord shri ram came and the past time of shabri mata happened so don't think that this happened in the current treta yuga current is 28th chaturyuga but she appeared in 24th chaturyuga ab dekhiye itna accurate jo hai na aapko keval chaitanya mahaprabhu ki parampara so, nahi janne ko this much accuracy you can listen or get only through radhiki ram ji ko the lineage of chaitanya mahaprabhu lekin hamare acharyon ne our acharyas have put oil in every part of our machinery ram ji ke aane ki raah dekh rahi hai shabri mata is waiting for arrival of lord shri ram her my bona fide spiritual master has said he will come pehle prayas karna hai as yesterday we rem- we listen that first we should try second we should pray and the third point was we have to wait yadi nath ka naam daya nidhi hai ha ha yadi nath ka naam daya nidhi hai to daya bhi karenge kabhi na kabhi mere nath ka naam daya nidhi hai the lord is considered as the most merciful daya nidhi then one day he will be merciful on me on this hope she is living but she has only one anxiety she thinks in her mind and to ant mein tum jaye samay hai he ram oh lord shri ram prabhu yadi aapki baat dekhte hue 
इफ वाइल वेटिंग फॉर यू If I die, then I am sure that I will merge in you, and I will get liberation. Because I cannot remember anything except you. And even if I die, I won't have any regret because I will merge in you. and i will attain liberation hare bina priya yatanu ke do do kami rahi hai lekin prabhu but o oh lord yadi aapke padhare bina mere pran nikle if i die before you arrive then there will be two things that will be lacking and if we ask what those two things will be Although I will get liberation, but there still will will be two things that lack. And what are they? First, I won't be able to serve your lotus feet. I will get liberation. I will get saket avakunta, but. i will lose this opportunity to serve your lotus feet in wash the lotus feet and i won't be able to see you with my eyes and these two shortfalls will be in my heart and my so i just pray that before i die or leave this body i should have your darshan and opportunity to serve you and by such contemplating this she is waiting for the lord the only mellow and mood she has is when will lord shri ram arrive when will my eyes feel or see the nectar of his presence when will my bees like eyes get the bliss of seeing the lord and she is waiting and one day suddenly she heard that the uh, about the arrival of lord shri ram she heard that the lord is coming to the forest and then she thinks in her mind if he is ramji is coming then first of all he will go and visit the great sages and saints and she looks towards the sages and saints hermitage that they will go there how will he come to me so she looks at the hermit of the saints but here the lord was ignoring or neglecting the rishi munis and coming towards shabri ji as duryodhan had decorated his hastinapur and prepared so many food preparation chappan bhoga for him but krishna didn't go there and went to vidur ji's home a great sage said that oh narayan i will raise my hands both hands until unless we are humble we won't be able to get the lord भगवान किसी अभिमानी अपराधी the lord doesn't meets egoistic sinful person जिसको ज्ञान का बड़ा अभिमान होता है अपनी person who is filled with ego of knowledge that i know so much and i am an expert and i speak so well i sing so well 
such be, people with such behavior can never attain the Lord. Our Lord Ram or Krishna prefer loving, simple behavior, and the love Lord loves them greatly. I tell that I pray that I become like you but people laugh at me because we have so much ego of knowledge etc but some people are very simple and are humble and such people attain the Lord first. This simple nature pleases the Lord. The Lord runs away from the knowledge that they might argue with me. Bilva Mangal Thakur in Krishna Karnamrit has written a beautiful verse and I heard it for the first time from the Ma Srimukh of Sri Radha Raman Maharaj while Radha Govind Maharaj was also there and it was the first time I heard and for three days I was contemplating on that I couldn't rest this is the verse and you also can enjoy the mellow of this verse Brushe godan hum krute stuti shate Ah, 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 Brushe godan hum krute stuti shate Monam vida se vida Dasyam Gokula Punshali Shukurushe Swamyam Nadantatmasu Gyatam Krushna Tavangri Pankaja Yugam Premachalam Manjulam Premachalam Manjulam Bilva Mangal Thakur ki ye rachna hai. So this is the creation of Bilva Mangal Thakur in Krishna Karnamrit. So first of all, what is the essence? If you see the last two words of the verse, Prema Chalam Manjulam, that is, the Lord is fixed. He cannot be moved. But if someone has simplicity and love, then a person who is loving, the Lord gets, even Lord gets moved. Even the Lord gets bound by such people. But the people who are knowledgeable, pandit, intellectual, etc., the Lord remains unmoved. So in the first line of this verse, what does he say? In Braja, in the home of the inhabitants of Braja, so 
there is this cows urine and milk and even cow dung and in such place you play with so much affection and love but लेकिन जहां ब्राह्मण किसी ब्राह्मण प्योरिटी एंड डिसिप्लिन येट यू हेजिटेट टू गो दे सो हाउ सिंपल अवर लॉर्ड इज एंड हाउ ही गेट्स सेटिस्फाइड विथ सिंपल बिहेवियर गोपो के कीचड़ भरे हुए आंगन में सो ही प्लेस इन गुलाना द होम दैट इज फिल्ड विथ काउडर मिल्क एटसेट्रा but in the fire or yagna sacrifices of the brahman great brahmanas you feel hesitate to go a further he adds in the second line monam vidyate vidam godan hinkrite kabhi kabhi sometimes it so happens in the herd of the cows the kabhi kabhi calves make sound to gayo ke mau so the cow and calves moos krishna replies why are you shouting what is your problem he replies to the cows and calves bolte hain go dhan hinkrite gayo ke rambhane par krishna bolte hain लेकिन बट तूती शतेर लेकिन बड़े बड़े ब्राह्मण एट द सेम टाइम सो मंत्रों से ग्रेट ग्रेट ब्राह्मणस हु वेनेरेट विद सो मेनी हंड्रेड्स एंड हंड्रेड्स ऑफ वर्सेस येट द लॉर्ड रिमेंस साइलेंट जवाब देते हैं कृष्ण ही रिप्लाइज टू द कॉव्स इन कॉव्स बट ही रिमेंस साइलेंट on veneration by dasyam gokul punchali the verses by the brahmanas further in the third line he says very beautifully he describes that the punchali ka punchali mane kulta the girls of raja inhabitants kulta of gokul ki jo acha atan karti the inhabitants of raja this gopis who are considered unchaste and you become their servant and you serve them lekin swamyam na dant matasu lekin jo atma nigrahi hai but jo bade bade siddh siddh mahapurush hai siddhas or great atma nigrahi dhyani gyani aur tapasviyo ka intellectuals and yogis etc you don't even want to become their master so you you love to serve these unchaste inhabitants of raja and you don't even want to be the master of the gyanis or the impersonalist etc so that they know that or signify that you go uninvited to the home of the inhabitants of raja but you don't want to go to the fire sacrifice and when you answer or at the same time you answers to the cows and calves yet you remain silent when the 
intellectuals venerate you and you don't want to be the master of the knowledge jibal intellectuals are the yogis or people who perform austere but so i have concluded that by this that you can only be satisfied with loving devotional service towards you by loving and affectionate behavior only we can win the lord and that is what is the behavior of shabri mata she is affectionate that is why lord shri ram arrives and meet lord shri and meet shabri ji so let's get a reference from ramayana so in ramayana shabri ji is described here as शबरी के आश्रम पगुधारा रामचरितमानस में लिखा है सो इन रामचरितमानस गोस्वामी तुलसीदास जी से गिविंग लिबरेशन टू सो मेनी डिवोटिज ऑन द वे विराज का उद्धार किए सर्वंग मुनि का उद्धार किए गिव लिबरेशन टू सर्वम खरदूषण एक्सेट्रा का उद्धार ही gave liberation to 14000 demons gidra jitayu aur in sab ko gati dete hue etc and now he is coming towards shabri to give liberation and he is approaching her hermit hij aur patij gati ram udara ram ji so the lord is considered benevolent why because ram ji is searching and meeting each and every one of them and give them liberation that is why he is considered benevolent gracious that he goes towards them and for their welfare and liberate them chaitanya mahaprabhu is considered even greater benevolent because he he even goes to the people who lack qualification he gave them qualification and provided them the, his pure devotional service so such lord shri ram is proceeding towards the cottage of shabri mata so he hasn't reached her home but he has reached the forest where this pampa sarovar was situated and shabri ji heard that that he is in the forest and by just listening this shabri's anxiety distress were removed and this is true when we listen about the lord or when we see the lord then our distress we physical or mental get kurukshetra mein removed or relieved we get relief from the same and the biggest example is bisham vitama bhishma who was 450 year old and who was lying on the bed of arrows if if we get hurt by just a pin or a knife we get so much hurt and distress imagine the pain of bhishma pitama but sud goswami ji describes jab bhagwan shri krishna kurukshetra mein gaye that when lord shri krishna went to kurukshetra to meet us bhagwan shri vishnu pitama then asu turant by seeing him yuddha shrama pitama bhishma ke sharir mein jitna bhi yuddha karne ka pitama bhishma 
was relieved of all the labor that he has performed to fight this battle and immediately he was relieved of all the inauspiciousness like his guilt etc he was relieved of the same and that is the benefit of seeing the lord and in bhagavatam it is said that if we see the lord even a dead can come to life and the old can become young so if shabri mata ji is distress is relieved then what is the point of amazement here so the first and foremost distress of shabri mata was the separation from her bona fide spiritual master second the anger of the sages and saints toward her so she was distressed because of that as well and third that long time of her life has passed i am about to die yet i haven't met the lord yet and she was worried that i might not i should not die before meeting the lord that was her distress but lord shri lord shri ram came to the forest where shabri ji resides shabri man mein sochti hai and her distress is removed and she thinks in her heart that i was born in a lower clan i am a shabri from the shabar clan isliye ram ji mere ghar par kaise aayenge so how will he come to my home and she started running away from where she used to stay by just thinking that she is from the lower clan and this is this was her humility which the lord loves the most mahatma gan kehte hain rai ka the sages say that a small mustard seed so they say that the 20th part of the mustard seed and the 20th part of that so the seed of mustard is very small and the 20th part and then again the 20th part of the same seed and if you remain smaller than that then only you will be able to attain lord so if we become the servant of the servant of the lord if we, we try to be the boss of the boss of the boss then we will never attain the lord shabri considers herself from the lower clan and unqualified so on one hand shabri agrees that she is not qualified and she is from lower clan and the other hand the rishi munis were thinking that ram ji will come to our home first unme kuch ek rishi the phalahari baba so among them there was one sage who always used to survive on fruits and he was thinking that lord will come to my home because others in he <laughs> invest so much in eating and gratifying their senses by eating but i just eat fruit so the lord will come to my home but there were other who used to eat just the leaves of the tree and they were thinking why will they go why will the lord go to the sage who eats fruit but i am far greater than him because i just eat the leaves so 
the Lord will come to my home or hermitage. So there were another who survived or sustained himself by drinking milk and he was thinking that the Lord will not go to either of these two but they, he will come to me because I am far greater detached sage and then there were the fourth class who sustained on just drinking water so the lord will come to me he was thinking like that then there was one who just used to survive on by just breathing so they were thinking that they will come the lord will come to me शबरी ऐसा सोचती थी कि शबरी इज थिंकिंग दैट शी इज अनकॉलिफाइड एंड राम जी विल नॉट विजिट हर वेल the sages were confident that the lord will come and meet them she had humility while the sages had ego so if i tell you that you perform less austerity but please be aware or of avoid ego even if if you don't do if you do two malas less that is still okay but you should stay away from ego so the, lord didn't visited them they were all the sages were all knowledgeable and austere but to some extent they had ego and the lord understood that these brahmanas or sages are egoistic and the lord is the most intellectual and he thought that they are over so to break their ego he went to the door of the sages <laughs> and the sages were very happy and overwhelmed to welcome the lord but he said that i do i didn't i didn't came here to visit you but i want to know where shabri resides he said that leave shabri aside come and visit my cottage he said that no first of all i will go to the most fortunate shabri my eyes want to see shabri and the sages got distressed and disturbed and said that she stays there we have been performing so much austerity we don't even shave and you're not coming to our home and you're asking the address of shabri and then he went to the other rishi's ashram and he's welcome lord but he said that i i'm not here to visit or see you but i want to see shabri he could have straight away gone to shabri ji once she got the address but ram ji was asking each and every sage on purpose so that he can glorify shabri and her fate and fortune law shri ram is crying to break the ego 
of these great changes. So there are five obstacles, obstacles in Bhakti Marg. So if you come to London and oh, if you come to India and do Braj Parikrama, then only you will understand what is a thorn. If you come to Goshala, <laughs> you will understand what is a thorn. Because only a person who is <laughs> hurt can understand or can be empathetic to others. So there are five obstacles in the way of devotional service. And what are they? Mahatvamcha Jati Vidya Mahatvamcha Rupam Yovana Mevacha Yatnena Paritastyajya Yatnena Paritastyajya Panchete Bhakti Kantaka Panchete Bhakti Kantaka Chothi line mein dekhiye So in the fourth line if you see So these are the five Obstacles on the path of our loving devotional service towards the Lord So Bhakti Marg mein paanch kante kaun se hain And what are these five obstacles? First is Jati, that is the ego, that I am from a higher class. So this is an obstacle. Second is knowledge, that is Vidya. So, pride of knowledge. And then third is glorification or glorifying ourselves. And fourth is following only the beauty. And fifth is youth. And so people have pride or ego on the beauty and youth so we should try to detach ourselves from these because these five are obstacles of our pathway to the devotional service and our progress will be hampered so the Lord wanted to remove these thorns from the sages and I like Shabri very much. The title should have been Mahabhagwati Shabri Mata because that is how Lord Sri Ram addressed her. The Lord doesn't want His devotee be disrespected or criticized. And whenever there is some criticism of a devotee of the Lord, the Lord cannot tolerate that. Once, in Bharat Varsh, there is one holy place that is called Anant Shayan Tirth, where there was a destitute poor Brahmana who used to serve the Lord with water and Tulsi Ji. And this place king was Chol. And he used to see he is so offering the Lord Tulsi Ji flowers and water. So he is destroying 
द ब्यूटी ऑफ द लॉर्ड ही डिडेंट लाइक दिस सो समटाइम्स द पीपल from the cities and towns go and see the lord then they see they go to vrindavan and they see the brajvasis praying the lord according to their mood so they also feel agitated that they are spoiling the place and so the king told the brahmana this brahmana that you are destroying the beauty of the lord Vishnu that said that I am just serving the Lord. This is the path of devotional service towards the Lord. So he said that, okay, let's challenge. I will venerate on my in my style, and you venerate him according to your fancy, and let's see by whom the Lord gets pleased. तो अब तो राजा के मान सम्मान की बात आ गई सो नाउ इट वाज अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ द ईगो एंड प्राइड ऑफ द किंग ही सेड दैट परफॉर्म ग्रेट्स यज्ञ एंड ऑफर शुरू करो तो भगवान की मनी ज्वेल्स एटसेट्रा टू सर्व द सो दिस पुअर ब्राह्मण व्हाट कुड ही डू ही स्टार्ट भोजन बनाकर used to offer the lord by making some bhoga and offer with tulsi leaves and water so he used to offer it only once because he didn't had too much money so once he offered the lord and somebody stole the bhoga and second day also it was stolen so seven days constantly wish to that bhoga was stolen on the 8th day when he chandal wo bhog lekar bhag raha hai when he on the 8th day when he opened his eye he saw one chandal or dog eater was running taking the bhog usme ghee lagana baki tha he said that i was ghee ka patra lekar piche piche doda bhai road pe hai lekin ghee to laga le he was running behind him with a pot of ghee to put ghee on the roti he thought the chandal thought that he was trying to chase and they both started running and chandal got unconscious and he waved a cloth on his face he said that i didn't wanted to beat you but i just wanted to offer ghee to you on your chapati and the lord got satisfied and manifested and the chariot of Associates of the Lord came from Vaikuntha, and they took Vishnu Datta to Vaikuntha, the whole eternal abode of the Lord. So Chola Narish understood that pride and ego is not good, and he wanted to kill himself in the fire sacrifice. He said that the Lord manifested, and he said that you also start performing devotional service, and you will be successful as well. So. so in conclu- the conclusion is that the lord gets satisfied with mellows or mood of the devotee not by opulence so all ram ji is asking all these sages where does shabri resides and i am anxious to see her as the devotee of the lord is anxious to see the lord similarly the lord is also anxious to see the devotee ram ji shabri ko dekhna chahte hain shabri kahan hai wo main dhruv maharaj ko yaad karu so if i remember dhruv maharaj 5 year old dhruv who was performing austerity in vrindavan in 6 months the lord got moved and it is mentioned थाउजेंड फेस्ट लॉर्ड विष्णु 
so it's not that that only that devotees sees the lord but even the lord wants to have the darshan of his devotees or see his devotees because the lord has only one mellow that the exalted devotees are very real and devotees who have no desire or nishkam are very rare and even lord wants to see such devotees aur is prakar se jab ram ji khojte and then when ram ji searching for shabri mata well shabri ki aaj going to the place cottages of the sages and finally he is going to the cottage of shabri ji and goswami tulsidas ji writes ram grih aaye gaiye gaiye che din se jo raah dekh rahi hai 10000 varsh se raah dekh rahi hai shabri dekhi राम गृह आये शबरी देखी राम गृह आये मुनि के वचन समुझी जिय भाये मुनि के वचन समुझी जिय भाये शबरी देखी राम गृह आए तो शबरी जी सॉ दैट लॉर्ड श्री राम इज कमिंग टू माय होम और हर्मिटेज now that he is approaching the gate of shabri ji so shabri ji should go and welcome lord shri ram but no she doesn't go to ram ji she started running away ram ji is standing at the gate or the door of muni ke vachan samudhi and shabri ji started running in the direction of the shabri guru ji ke charan guru ji statue a photo shabri guru ke paas ja kar rehti hai ki gurudev she tells her spiritual master that by your mercy ram ji ka aagman mere punya the lord has arrived at my door it is not by my qualification but because of your mercy and your word that lord shri ram will come and visit me so when he she saw ram ji is approaching her she muni ke vachan samujhi man ma hai shabri she was remembering the words of her spiritual master and she bowed down at his lotus feet she should have bowed down at the lotus feet of the lord but what is this the philosophy says the lord ram was there but she bowed down at the lotus feet of her spiritual master because of the merit of the guru we can attain the lord so you do so much devotional service so i'm sure that you all will attain the lord but when the lord manifests in front of you what should you do first of all you should bow down or remember our bona fide spiritual master that because of their mercy we are able to see the lord or meet him what shall i tell more so first meaning is that shabri saw that lord ram is has come to my home but the shabri actual meaning is when ram ko ram ji saw shabri 
he felt that he is at home shabri dekhi shabri ko dekh kar ram ji ko aisa laga ki main mere ghar par aaya hu aur saath hi shabri ke ghar that means after reaching shabri's home and seeing shabri he could remind herself of his own mother kaushalya ram ji ko dekh kar shabri ne guru ji ko pranam kiya guru ji ki kripa and by just seeing aur ram ji ko shabri ji bodan at her lot the sweet of the bona fide spiritual master and her eyes were filled with tears शबरी की आए है राम जी शबरी मिलन को व्याकुल धाये है राम जी राम जी दौड़कर शबरी के पास आए व्याकुल हो रही थी मग को निहारती व्याकुल हो रही थी मग को निहारती निज कर कमल से आकर उठाए हे राम जी राम जी ने अपने हाथों से शबरी को उठाया निज कर कमल से आकर उठाए हे राम जी कुटिया पे आज शबरी की आए हे राम जी शबरी मिलन को व्याकुल धाये हे राम जी पल के उठा के देखा तो चरणों में गिर पड़ी पल के उठा के देखा तो चरणों में गिर पड़ी अश्रु के जल से पग को धुलाए हे राम जी अश्रु के जल से पग को धुलाए हे राम जी कुटिया पे आज शबरी की आए हे राम जी शबरी मिलन को व्याकुल दाये हे राम जी सब कुछ बिसर गया तब कुछ भी न कर सकी सब कुछ बिसर गया तब कुछ भी न कर सकी का पत है अंग अंग सब देखत हे राम जी का पत है अंग अंग सब देखत हे राम जी लखी के दशा हरी जी हुए प्रेम में विभोर शबरी की दशा को देखकर क्या हुआ लखी के दशा हरी जी हुए प्रेम में विभोर शबरी का कर पकड़ के लाए हे राम जी शबरी का कर पकड़ के लाए हे राम जी फिर तो क्या होना था शबरी भी रो रही है और राघव भी रो रहे 
शबरी रो रही है और राघव भी रो रहे रो रो के अपने ही से लगाए हे राम जी रो रो के अपने ही से लगाए हे राम जी क्योंकि लगता प्रभु को मानो मां कौशल्या मिल गई लगता प्रभु को मानो मां कौशल्या मिल गई रो रो के अपने ही से लगाए हे राम जी क्योंकि कुटिया पे आज शबरी की आए हे राम जी शबरी मिलन को व्याकुल धाए हे राम जी इस प्रकार शबरी दिस मैनर राम जी विजिट्स द कॉटेज ऑफ लॉर्ड सो विल लिसन फर्दर but let's listen to the first announcement and we listen to the rest katha after a while krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare krishna बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद इस बेसागर गुरु जी बहुत ही सुंदर आज इस सप्तम दिवस की कथा का हम सब बैठकर यहाँ पर आपके मुखारण से रसपान कर रहे हैं और बहुत ही सुंदर आज की कथा में हमने आपने बहुत ही सुंदर सुंदर कुछ बातें बताई जो कि वास्तव में जीवन में उतारने लायक है और स्मरण करते रहने लायक है भक्ति की भक्ति में प्रोग्रेस करना चाहते हैं तो उसे यदि जीवन में उतारने लायक बात है आपने बहुत सुंदर बताई सर्वप्रथम तो हमने स्मरण किया आज की कथा में कि कैसे आज का दिन है वो ऋषि पंचमी है हमारे जो ऋषि मुनि हैं उनकी कुछ कथा हमने श्रवण करा है विशेष इसमें जो सप्त ऋषि है उनकी कथा आपने बहुत ही अद्भुत बताई ये जो ऋषि मुनि है उनकी कथा और साथ ही साथ आज माता सीतारा ठाकुरानी का आविर्भाव दिन भी है बहुत ही सुंदर श्री अद्वैत आचार्य की पत्नी सीता ठाकुरानी माता जी आज उनकी भी कथा हमें आस्वादन करने मिली संक्षिप्त में उनका कौन सा स्थान है नोलोक में एवं भगवान की जो श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु ने बताया कैसे जो उनकी पूर्व की लीलाओं में भगवान कृष्ण की जन्म लीला में भी उन्होंने अपना स्थान प्राप्त किया था और तत्पश्चात तो यहाँ पर भी श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु ने भी इस चैतन्य चरितावित में भी हम श्रवण करते हैं कि सीता ठाकुरानी अद्वित आचार्य की धर्म पत्नी है और बहुत ही सुंदर ये अद्वैत आचार्य कौन है ये भी आज की कथा में हमें श्रवण करने को मिला कि अद्वैत आचार्य वह है जिन्होंने श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु को इस धराधाम धराधाम पर अवतरित होने के लिए यू नो जो प्रयास किए मतलब जो भगवान को पुकारा है वो हमें आस्वादन करने को मिला तो थैंक यू प्रभु जी और साथ ही साथ बहुत ही सुंदर भक्ति में जैसे प्रभु जी ने इन विषय में बताया कि कैसे हम लोग इन सारे ऋषि मुनियों के ऋण में ऋण के तले दबे हुए हैं देवर्ष निणाम पितृणाम नायम की तो ये ऋषि पंचमी की कुछ बात है जो प्रभु जी ने बताई जो आए जस्ट थॉट तो हम सब किसी ना किसी के ऋण में है परंतु यदि हम भगवान श्री कृष्ण की भक्ति करते हैं तो अन्य और कुछ कार्य करने की आवश्यकता नहीं रहती है या अन्य और कोई मार्ग में जाने की या कोई विधि विधान फॉलो करने की आवश्यकता नहीं है यदि हम भक्ति करते हैं तो यह स्वर्ण करने को मिला साथ ही साथ बहुत ही सुंदर रूप गोस्वामी के मुखार से यू नो कि भक्ति में धैर्य की बड़ी आवश्यकता है जैसे हम सबरी माता के जीवन चरित्र से श्रवण कर सकते हैं स्मरण कर सकते हैं कि सबरी माता ने मोर देन टेन थाउजेंड ईयर सी वेटेड यू नो फॉर लॉर्ड राम तो पेशेंस बड़ी मान्य रखती है 
जैसे उत्साह भी इतना मान्य रखता है कभी कभी हमारे अंदर पेशेंस होती है परंतु उत्साह नहीं होता है तो पेशेंस के साथ साथ उत्साह और निश्चय भी होना चाहिए है ना धैर्य तो ये सारे भक्ति में हेल्प करते हैं हमें उत्साह निश्चय धैर्य यू नो संगत त्याग का सत्य सत्य गुणी व्यक्ति का संग करना चाहिए और यू नो ये भक्ति में हमें और आगे प्रशस्त करता है तो प्रभु जी बहुत ही सुंदर ये कथा रही आज के दिन में और साथ ही साथ वहां पर से आपने सबरी के उन गुणों को ज्वाइन किया कि माता सबरी के अंदर कितना धैर्य था और कितना बड़ा उत्साह था कि प्रतिदिन वो यू नो सेम सेवा इसी यूज टू डू जब उन्होंने गुरु महाराज जब मतंग ऋषि ने उन्हें बताया कि आपको कहीं जाने की आवश्यकता नहीं है भगवान श्री राम स्वयं आपको मिलने आएंगे तो उसी दिन से उसी क्षण से जब मातंग ऋषि चले गए तो माता सबरी का एक डेली का रूटीन यही था कि रोज उस मार्ग को सजाती यही आशा से यही कामना से कि भगवान राम आ जाएंगे भगवान राम आ जाएंगे सो एवरी सिंगल डे माता सबरी वो सफाई करने का जो ना सेवा करते और भगवान के लिए बेरोज लाना और रोज उसको टेस्ट करके एक साइड कर देते कि हाँ ये भगवान के लिए ठीक है ये भगवान के लिए ठीक है तो इसे समझ सकते कितना उत्साह था कितना इन्हों निश्चय था और उनको विश्वास था तो ये बहुत ही सुंदर कथा आपने बताई प्रभु जी इसके लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद और साथ ही साथ हमें यह भी श्रवण करने को मिला कि भक्ति मार्ग में जो अभिमान राय आ जाता है जो पांच कांटे आपने बताया कि कैसे जाति विद्या महत्व रूप और यौवनम ये पांच चीजें ऐसी है जो हमें भक्ति के बड़े पद से भी च्युत कर सकती है तो जैसे हम यदि हमें कभी कभी जाति का भी गर्व होता है कि हम बड़े जाति के हैं हाँ ऋषि मुनि जैसे हमने भगवान राम की कथा में अभी भी श्रवण किया कि कैसे भगवान राम उन ऋषि मुनियों के जो अंदर जो अहंकार था कि हम ब्राह्मण हैं और बड़े तपस्वी हैं तो भगवान राम ने उनके अहंकार को तोड़ा वहां पर जाकर माता सबरी के विषय में पूछ और विद्या का गौरव ये सारी चीजें भक्ति में बाधा है थैंक यू प्रभु जी आज बहुत ही सुंदर हम यहाँ पर इस कथा को आस्वादन कर रहे हैं और थैंक यू प्रभु जी और साथ ही साथ क्योंकि कथा का भी कुछ ही शेष भाग जो बचा है उसके पश्चात हम एक और सूचना आपको देना चाहते हैं वह ये है कि कथा के पश्चात अनुमोदन का कार्य होगा और बहुत सारे भक्त हैं जिन्होंने अपने नाम को हमें दिए हैं हम सबको अवसर देंगे और प्रयास करेंगे हम सब यू नो आज हमने जो सात दिन से लगातार माता सबरी के चरित्र के विषय में श्रवण किया है स्मरण किया है जो हम समझ सकते हैं उसको कुछ अपने भाव से यू नो व्यक्त करेंगे हमने जो सीखा है जो जीवन में उतारने लायक चीजें हैं वो कुछ यहाँ पर व्यक्त करेंगे तो बहुत सारे भक्त हैं यदि आप भी कोई बाकी है किसी की इच्छा है तो आप हमें प्लीज अपना नाम दे सकते हैं एंड हम उनको बहुत अवश्य देंगे साथ ही साथ जो अगला कार्यक्रम हमारा यहाँ पर इस अमृत चर्चा परिवार में इस प्लेटफॉर्म पर होने वाला है वो आने वाली आने वाले सिक्स ऑफ सितंबर से लेकर दस सितंबर तक आ, अगला कार्यक्रम होगा यहाँ पर इसी प्लेटफॉर्म पर यह सुंदर भागवत कथा हम आस्वादन करेंगे हमारे मकवाना फैमिली हमारे आ, और कमार फैमिली एक्चुअली हमारे जो खेल प्रभु है कोकिला माता जी जो कि ट्रांसलेशन की सेवा में बिजी रहते हैं बड़े वो उनके परिवार और हमारे कमार परिवार है जो न्यूज जस्टिस है उनका बड़ा भाव था कि हम राष्ट्र के दिन श्रीमती राधा रानी की कथा हमारे परिवार के द्वारा इसमें सहयोग हो और हम सब यू नो इन कथा को आस्वादन करें तो वेरी ग्रेटफुल टू दिस वंडरफुल फैमिलीज और uh, यह भागवत कथा आने वाली सिक्स सितंबर से लेकर दस uh, सितंबर को होगी और यही समय के uh, रहेगा साढ़े आठ से लेकर ग्यारह बजे और ग्यारह से लेकर डेढ़ बजे अमेरिका के समय के अनुसार तो आप सबसे निवेदन है आप प्लीज इसमें अवश्य आएगा और जैसे हमने यहाँ पर माता सबरी के चरित्र के विषय में इतना कुछ आस्वादन किया कि भगवान के जो शुद्ध भक्त है उनके अंदर जो कितने गुण है दिव्य गुण से सुशोभित होते हैं प्रभु जी ने यह हमें लगातार सात दिन तक उन गुणों से अवगत कराया तो अब जो नेक्स्ट कथा हम श्रवण करेंगे श्रीमती राधा रानी की विशेष कथा श्रीमती राधा रानी भगवान की अंतरंगा शक्ति है श्रीमती राधा रानी स्वयं जो है भगवान को अत्यंत प्रिय है और यहाँ पर हम श्रीमती राधा रानी की कथा को आस्वादन करेंगे तो आप सब इसमें अवश्य आइएगा अपनी उपस्थिति दीजिएगा और इसी प्रकार साथ में यू नो भगवान एवं भगवान के इस भक्तों के गुणावली को हम आस्वादन करते रहेंगे और अपने जीवन को इसी प्रकार यथार्थ करेंगे भगवत में करेंगे तो यही तो करना है और क्या जीवन में है 
तो आशा करेंगे आप सब इसमें अपनी उपस्थिति देंगे और सेम यूजर आई पासवर्ड आप यूज कर सकते हैं इसमें भी और अधिक जानकारी के लिए आप हमें भी अप्रोच कर सकते हैं ऑन सेवन फाइव सिक्स सेवन फाइव फोर डबल फाइव डबल फाइव आप इस नंबर के माध्यम से हमें अप्रोच कर सकते हैं जिससे कि आप और अधिक जानकारी प्राप्त कर सको इन इस विषय में और अधिक साथ ही साथ आपको ये फ्लायर हम शेयर कर देंगे जल्द से जल्द जिससे कि आप अपने स्नेहीजनों को भी इसमें आमंत्रित कर सको और वह भी हमारे साथ में भगवत कथा भगवत चिंतन कर सके और अपने जीवन को अधन्य कर सके तो बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद एक बार फिर से और आइए हम भगवत कथा की और आगे बढ़े उसके पूर्व हम श्री राधा गोविंद गोशाला के गो माता के एक बार दर्शन करते हैं शेष कथा हम ओके आई गेस प्रोजी से जाकर करता हूँ सो रिक्वेस्ट करेंगे हम जो शेष कथा है उसे श्रवण करें धन्यवाद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे तो भगवान श्री रामचंद्र सुलॉर्ड श्री राम शबरी जिंग एंड इट इज मैं हाउ रॉड राम लो श्याम गौर सुंदर दो भाई शबरी परी चरण लपटाई बहुत सुंदर सरस लोचन सरोवर में होने वाले कमल के समान लाइक राम जी के पुत्र हैं लोटस इन द पॉन आजान उलम सिमिलर ही हैज जटा मुकुट आर हिज आईज एंड ही हैज लॉन्ग हैंड एंड वनमाला है ही इज वेयरिंग वनमाला and here here his hair are tied on his head zikr hai ke ur shri vast ruchir vanmala bhagwan ke gale mein vanmala thi manu shatrupa ko so when he manifested to as the threat of manu and shatrupa and when he manifested as to wahan par ram varnan hai in the ram ji ne vanmala dharan ki hai to in front of kaushalya ji that time also he is wearing vanmala दीन दयाला कौशल्या हितकारी भूषण वनमाला नयन विशाला शोभा सिंह दुखरारी मनु शत्रुपा को दर्शन दिया तब भगवान ने माला पहनी When he met or manifested in front of मनु एंड शत्रुपा and when he saw कौशल्या माता और manifested in front of कौशल्या then he came with one mala So both Manu and Shatrupa and Kaushalya Mata both are in the mood of parental affection. So it means or signifies that when the Lord meets a devotee who is in the mellow of parental affection, they he comes but wearing one mala. Similarly, when he came to meet Shabri Mata, he saw. और मैं शबरी जी विद वाइल वियरिंग वनमाला सो दैट मीन्स दैट ही हैज विजिटेड हर इन पेरेंटल इफेक्शन भगवान के अपने पुत्र के चेहरे के सामने देखती है बिकॉज अ डिवोटी ऑफ द लॉर्ड लुक्स एट द लोटस फीट ऑफ द लॉर्ड बट पेरेंट सीज द फेस ऑफ द लॉर्ड 
So from far, Shabri ji saw and she bowed down at the lotus feet of the Lord. And Lord Shri, Shri Ram came nearer and picked Shabri ji. And as she was picked, she couldn't speak a word. But she was overwhelmed with so much emotion that she was speechless. And she couldn't utter a word. And again and again, she was bowing down at the lotus feet of the Lord, but couldn't say a word. When she was waiting for Lord Sri Ram, she was crying. And after meeting Lord Sri Ram also, she was crying. Before that, it was the tears of separation. Now, these are the tears of meeting. So, the tears of separation are hot, while the tears in bliss are cold. And she cleaned or she she washed the feet of Lord. And great is this Patni family. Let me remind you that Damji Bapa also washed the feet of Srila Prabhupada. They are very fortunate. So, filled with emotion, she was shivering with love and she is washing the lotus feet of the Lord and respectfully she drank that water and put that water on her body and then she offered him a beautiful seat to sit then she offered her him fruits, flowers, etc. So if you see the backdrop, she's approaching the Lord. There was a Lord with fruits. And she was serving beautiful fruits to the Lord. And Lord was praising the fruits and eating again and again. When she offered these berries and flowers, the Lord accepted with so much love and while eating each and every berry he was praising Shabriji that how beautiful these berries are according to Ayurveda the Avla or gooseberry is considered very healthy and beneficial and the berries or bear are considered are not good and should be avoided. So, Lakshmanji was signaling that why are you eating these berries? Because they're not good for the body. If you eat too much of them, of the berries or beer, then you will get sick. But today, Ramji has broken all the principles and philosophy and accepting the love of Shabri Mata. After eating the berries from Shabri Mata, all his distress was removed and he was reminded of his own mother, Shalya Mata. रुचि रुचि भोग लगावो रसिया शबरी के बेर 
सुदामा के तंदुल शबरी के बेर सुदामा के तंदुल मांग मांग के खाओ रसिया मांग मांग के खाओ रसिया ऐसे ही भोग लगाओ रसिया राम रसिया मेरे मन बसिया रुचि रुचि भोग लगाओ रसिया भगवान श्री रामचंद्र ने प्रेम श्री रामचंद्र प्रेम के साथ शबरी वाज फिल्ड विद लव एंड वाज ईटिंग हर बेरीज विद सो मच अफेक्शन इन द होल रामायण कहीं पर भूख नहीं लगी इट्स नेवर मेंशन दैट राम जी इज हंग्री या पूरे भागवत या महाभारत में एंड इवन इन होल भागवत एंड महाभारत कृष्णा इज नेवर शोन एज हंग्री the lord is hungry only at three places first the place of vidura ji so and after seeing sudama ji's rise and by seeing shabri mata so these three apart from these three there is no mention of hunger of the lord so ram ji was asking for more and more and eating with affection so they were already tasted by shabri and the lord is filled with mellows but lakshman ji who was lakshman ji ne intellectual he din ate the berries but shabri never realized that lakshman ji used to take from her when she was To about to pick another and he will she, he used to throw and he just used to <laughs> pretend that he is chewing old shabri thought that he is eating but lakshman ji he didn't eat them that thinking that bhagwan to ram ji to samarth hai lord ram chandra is efficient capable and he is the lord he can eat anything and it glorifies him but if somebody asks me tomorrow that i ate the remnants of an old woman people will criticize me so thinking this lord lakshman ji never ate and he has also promised his mother sumitra ji that i will not eat or sleep for these 14 years so how could he eat so so that she doesn't feel bad he was taking the berries from him but he was not eating but a gift with love which is offered with affection we should accept that sometimes we are so much bounded by our rules and regulation niyam ka itna aagrah kar lete hain ke prem according to rup guna rup goswami dil ko tod deta hai we niyam hai hum ye nahi karenge we just are so engrossed or bounded by our rules and regulation that we break the heart of main aksar a lover or beloved who had given something with so much affection so i have told a uh, many times that even if our rules and regulations are broken sometimes but we should not break the heart of a beloved so even if we have to break our rules and regulations we should not break anybody's heart because no matter how much austerity you perform the never lot never be satisfied ram ji it those berries but lakshman ji didn't and ram ji went proceeded further ravan ka vadh kiya he killed ravana pushpak viman mein baith kar and he khaye ram ji you came back to yodhya and he became the king ek din lakshman ji bade pareshan so 
वन डे लक्ष्मण जी आज राम जी प्रभु मुझे मेरे मन में एक बहुत आई हैव अ ग्रेट डाउट and it can destroy my soul it is eating me up so lakshmi he said that what is your distress or question you can ask lakshman ji says bhaiya hamara janma that we both ek hi yagya kund se hua for born through the one fire sacrifice satya hai ram ji said that this is true said that we were born on the same day he said yeah that is also correct all over all over activities were together we married we went to the school and we went to the exile together everything was similar in our lives so the question here is when meghnath arrow hit me why it didn't hit you although we have lived a similar life we have lived similar lives yet i was hit by the arrow of meghna and not you then it should also have been the same then ram ji replied oh lakshman you just remember when we were in the exile and we were in search of Sita ji, and we went to Pampa Sarovar. Do you remember? Lakshman ji says yes. He said that we went to the cottage of Shabri. You remember? He said, yeah, I remember that as well. He said that Shabri offered those remnants of her berries, and he. she offered and i ate them but you didn't you remember that and you were throwing those berries and those sanjeevani booty ban kar berries for fell on dronagiri parvat and from there sanjeevani booty manifested so you didn't accept did the affection of a lover with affection and that is why you had to take the medicine had you eaten those berries then you wouldn't have been hit by meghnath's arrow aur meghnath ke ban se fir hanuman ji aaye aur sanjeevani aapko mili finally you had to take sanjeevani which was which had manifested from the berries of shabri mata so we should accept the love of and lover otherwise we will be forced to accept that is prakar in this way mata shabri ber khilaye beautifully offered the berries to the lord and after that with both folded hands she requested lord shri ram and she was just looking at the lord and then she said that how can i venerate you my spiritual master said that after seeing the lord we should perform veneration of the lord but she said that i i am lowest of the low and i have no intellect that i could venerate you प्रभु मैं आपकी स्तुति कैसे करूं हाउ शुड आई वेनरेट यू उनकी पूजा करके चरण धोकर बेर खिलाकर अब स्तुति करना चाहती है शी वांटेड टू प्रे टू द लॉर्ड बट शी इज अनएबल टू डू सो तब राम जी कहते हैं कि देन राम जी तू चिंता मत रिप्लाइज यू शुड नॉट गेट वरिड पाता है भामिनी आपकी जानकारी के लिए पहले दिन मैंने आपको कहा था अंतिम दिन में भी कहूं So, as I told you on the first day, second, on the last day also, I am telling you this. Bhamini was addressed to Sita Mata. So he says that I don't get satisfied with 
Vedas or verses from the Vedas, but I get satisfied with mellows and mood and intent. And if somebody does it with mellows, then he can cross the ocean of this material existence. And without emotion and bhav or moon, I don't accept anything. But if someone offers even a flower with heartfelt mood, then I accept that. Because mellow or mood is the essence of devotional service. So if somebody calls me without mellow, I will never hear that. But even if somebody with mellows calls me just once, I am forced to listen to them. And those who are not mellowful, I don't care for them but the devotees who are filled with emotion and mood i am bounded by them and i am always indebted to them they bound me with their determination and that is the reason i incarnate on this material earth And I'm always hungry for mellows or mood, intent. And I get satisfied by the same. Shabri, I don't care for the birth, position, etc. I just see the mood and mellows. A person may have all the opulences, beauty, wealth, etc. But without devotional service toward me, he is like a cloud without water. So such. Similarly, a person devoid of devotional service looks or appears to me. So Shabriji and Ramji met. And on the other hand, what happened? The sages were not sitting. They were also contemplating and discussing that everything is fine. Okay, that Ramji visited her. But our pond has became contaminated. And they have to go far for water. So they were having a meeting they said that we have tried all the yagna sacrifices and we have put so much water from all the holy places but nothing has helped so what shall we do and the sages decided that now the lord himself is here if we touch the lotus feet of the lord then at least the pond of Will we get purif will get purified by the touch of the Lord? So, so they said that he is at the home of Shabri, and all these sages came to Shabri ji's cottage. So they all gathered there, and they requested the Lord that okay, that it's good that you visited her, but our pond is contaminated. It has insects, etc., and it is not suitable to drink. We have to go far to drink this water. So please purify this water or pond. So Amji said that I am a brave heart prince and I am just in the form of a Brahmana. And so they said that you have liberated 
Gautam Rishi's wife, but he said that I cannot because I did it on behest or with the potency of the Guru. So, but you are great Brahmana, so you can purify yourself. So some of them were egoistic and they just touched, they went inside the pond, but the pond was not clean and they were feeling humiliated and they came back. They said that we, we are not able to do that. So please keep your lotus feet. He said that I don't, I'm not confident this will happen. And as soon as he touched the pond, <laughs> entities, the living entities in the pond became bigger because he takes care. So they got potency and they increase and he wanted to he wanted to glorify Mata Shabri and people were the sages some of the sages were discussing that this is he's not he's not Lord so so the sages said that you are Lord just give us a solution how to get this water purified the Lord answered he said that how did this water became contaminated they said that she was uh, sweeping sweeping the floor and the stone touched the brahmana and the brahmana took a dip and it became emanated because of shabri 